Morning guys, <laughs> just off my way to Butley. Um, it's the second round of the float only match. Um, as I say, it's through, it's through Butley on the River Severn. Uh, I won my section last time. Um, I was in the, the top uh, 10, I think it was, anyway. Um, I think the main thing is, is just to get a good draw. And if you get a good draw, then, you know, obviously you gotta get some fish out. Uh, the river's a bit low and clear today, so uh, that's a contrast from last time. Anyway, uh, I won't talk too much as I'm driving, but um, I'll see you at the draw. Uh, let's see what I draw and uh, I'll see you down on the venue then. Okay, I'm still driving. I, was, I left at 6 o'clock this morning. Uh, it's now 7, so uh, probably another hour away. Hour and a bit. As I say, we, we must be uh, mad uh, some match anglers traveling all this distance. Especially if we don't catch a lot. <laughs> but uh, anyway, that's, I suppose it's all part and fun. Right, see you later. Alright, guys, well, I made it. I've uh, <laughs> um, done good timing then, actually, just under two hours, so which is not bad. Um, all the traffic was going. Um, you know, for me today, so ah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> If we didn't hurry up, we'd be torn it back yeah. up. Oh yeah, the would be there. Okay, everybody, you're out. Right, um, I'll start off uh, as I started off last time. Oh, not that. Uh, oh, no. <laughs> 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 no. They was all here last year, they know. They no. Know. <laughs> <laughs> you see me after. <laughs> right, like uh, just want to go through one or two things. Uh, if you've got a problem with anything, the way it's run, the way of whatever is done, come and see me. Do not write it on Facebook, do not put it on social media. Uh, if you've got a complaint, just come and see me and have a moan on there. I don't want to read on Facebook, this is that, that and the other. Uh, as a committee, we've made the decision, if anything's detrimental to the committee or to the KDA, uh, we will take in uh, action as a, as a post. Probably, uh, well, May remove names, may make a decision, you know, you know, whichever way we made a decision as a committee to sort it out because we're not having this where we're working week in, week out to make a place a fishable venue and then just get slagged off for it. You know, it's no good and uh, organisation is a nightmare some days and it really is a fall out when you read that, you know, somebody's not happy with this. Just give me a ring or come and see me, you know, I'd rather sort it out like that, you know, okay? I don't want to dwell on that too much. Next one. Uh, right, we've changed one peg a little bit in the approach to it. Peg 40. Uh, peg 40, if you're aware of it, it's just got a great big landing stage in front of it and it's as dead as a dodo. We've moved it back to the original position, which is upriver a bit, down by the bush. It's a great peg to fish. You need to get in that part today. The other part will be just lying there in front of you. So if you draw peg 40, just walk up the river a little bit, you'll see where we've gone down down there and it just kicks off the pasters there and it, it's a great peg and it's all barbel today can you try and weigh them separate because you know a lot of small silver fish at the moment in the river if they're at the bottom of that net getting battered by barbel you know it's going to knock them about a bit so if you do get some barbel can you try and weigh them first um you know as opposed to sort of sticking a load of silver fish at the bottom and then four or five barbel on top of it okay <laughs> left he has tidied it up now, so you park between the farm machinery and the old caravans. Please don't block any of the gates so he can get in and out. You'll get six or seven cars up there, no problem at all. Uh, the six in the top field, and the, the charge for that is two pounds. If you can leave two pounds, Eddie gives the uh, money to the air ambulance charity. If you draw on Dowels or in the town above the uh, bridge, you can park in Mr. Thomas's garden, yeah? Uh, that's four pounds. That'll save you three pounds uh, if you wish to do that. I mean, I know some of you probably want to fish on the uh, park in the municipal, but it's up to you. If you want to save the three quid, then do. Please come and get a ticket and pay your uh, pay your four pounds. 
Now down at Winterline, and again on GM1 and GM2 as well, the same thing applies. You can park in the cricket club, you can park right down by the fence, so you've only got to go through the gates. I've written the combination code for the uh, lock there, 3614, both into the uh, cricket club and when you get down to the, uh, the gates by the fence, which takes you on to Winterdine. So it's the top pegs on Winterdine there, I think there's uh, seven of you there. That's four pounds as well, obviously that'll save you three quid as well. If I can just remind you, if you're on the cricket club, please, can the last one through shut the gates, spin the combination, yeah? And obviously when you leave, the last one shut the gates on the cricket club as well, if there's nobody playing. Okay. Okay, guys. Uh, let me just 40, 130, 120, 110, 175. Okay? Yep. I don't know why I'm looking at you with the function. They can't hear me when I call all in. Oh, yeah, Jim's doing all in. Okay, any other questions? <coughs> and that's the first promise that those when he gets that. <laughs> I was going to say that, don't we, over there, but that look at Jim. <laughs> okay, right, so away you go. Okay. Good luck, guys. Oh. <laughs> you just look so good. Jeff, you win. Oh, I'm going to record it over there, Jeff. 71. I'm not sure what Dave? Dave? I'll pay you. Dave? 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 Do you want some money, Mr. Thomas? Come on, move on. Sorry. It's only no use not to get him money off to your face. Yeah. I don't need parking. Is that the cricket club? Yeah, parking. Seventy-eight. No, no, no. Who's man here? Seventy-eight. Hi, Brandon. Okay, that's it. Seventy-eight. Peg 78. <laughs> uh, not the best pegs, <laughs> apparently, but um, there's always a section to go for. Mm -hmm. Right, let's go and have a look at the water. There you go, peg 78. I thought I'd just have a quick walk down. Nice steady water, but uh, that's not really what you wanted. You wanted uh, a little bit of uh, oxygenated water, which unfortunately are the pegs above me. So, um, yeah. I hope it's not every peg because the next peg's pretty close. I'm hoping it's going to be every other peg at least. <laughs> but we shall see now. Oh, yeah, there we are. That's, you won't be able to fish that 79, so. So I've got a fair bit of uh, space below me. I think my section goes down to about 85. Peg 80. Yes, exactly the same or less. Now because if I want to be short, I'm always yeah. the trees is a bit close. So I thought. Why'd you step on your float then? <laughs> You've got too many of them, that's what's trouble. I only, only carry about two or three. <laughs> No, it's yeah, lies, but <laughs> not that many. <laughs> no, you've also got too many. And you're all the rest of me. I've got really some as well. <laughs> oh, no. uh, OCTC comes to mind. <laughs> Bloody hell. You had more floats then than uh, I've ever had in a lifetime. <laughs> anyway, um, so whether to get in the water or not, and I've decided I'm going to fish. Uh, up the platform uh, rather than go in the water so yeah hey bloody swans already out to my beach <laughs> come on yeah so that's that's what i've done i'm gonna sit down there and fish off there okay <clears throat> the match is just about to start um, I've got plenty of time today, but because uh, it's only a float only, so uh, what I've done, I've got two raglers set up, uh, one dragon, hard on, you know, both three foot on, um, and the idea is, is to slow the bait down so it basically, um, you know, like stretch pegging, it's just 
tripping the bottom but slowing it down at the same time. Then I'm going at full depth, you know, or just on uh, dead depth, and that's for running through and, and coming up in the water. Then I've got a, um, a stick float, um, which I'll be fishing more or less two lines, you know, one at about sort of three or four rod lengths and the uh, dragon waggler a bit further out, hoping to pick up a bigger fish. Uh, my bait today is uh, hemp and casters. I've also got maggots, I've got the worms, and I'm going to introduce a little bit of ground bait because I've set up a, a pole to hand as well. Um, nine meters to hand and the reason being is that uh, I drew this peg um, last year and I actually had a bream of it. Um, I managed to get in the frame last year with it so uh, you never know. So, I know it's different conditions today so the water's a lot clearer. Uh, but there's still a few inches on apparently I'm pushing through a bit so I've got a nice depth. I've got about four foot you know, three and a half to four foot, which is quite good for the uh, Budley. Um I'm just out to the rapids. The rapids, uh, as you probably um, noticed uh, earlier when I mentioned it, um, that's where the fish tend to hang on. But, you know, uh, with that extra water, they may have come down a bit. Let's hope so, anyway. <laughs> um, one of the guys is uh, um, drawn the same pegs he did last year, and he had 20-odd pound, and that's on peg 73 i think it is because those are the favorite pegs obviously but i don't think it's in my section so um my section starts off from uh i think it's 75 which is a good peg down to 85 so anyway we'll uh do my best um i'm looking forward to it you know it's a nice day i mean the sun has gone in it's a bit of cloud and uh that might help the fishing a little bit actually <laughs> Because if you want it, you know, you don't want it blazing too hot. Um, nice overcast is always best conditions for fishing, as we all know. Okay then, right, um, the whistle's about to go in a minute. Um, uh, hopefully you'll catch up with me. Uh, and I've got to apologise to a couple of the viewers who've already told me that uh, the, the um, my little camera that I run is making a bit of a whirring noise. So I'll see if I can try and mask that with a bit of music or something. <laughs> um, must be a fault in the camera or something, because uh, it's only just started to do that, I think. Anyway, um, I'll catch you up in a bit later, perhaps in an hour or two, and let you know I'm getting on. through the match. <laughs> um, we had a bit of a disaster going here. Um, I had two perch early on and lost two and then I just I more or less uh, concentrated on them for a while and anyway I've just started feeding in the middle and I'm catching little dace, little roach. Um, I may have left a bit late really but I'll carry on and see if I can you know uh, snag a big one or two you never know. Um, but there are it's funny things, match fishing. You know, sometimes you twig it too late. Like um, I didn't think the fish would be out in the middle, but uh, they are. Yeah, I just seen a couple little pimps, so I've gone gone out for them now. Okay, uh, see how I get on anyway.
Okay, <laughs> the match is over now. Um, it's been a real struggle today. Uh, I've had a few people who are coming along the path and said a lot of people have been struggling. They've been looking for perch on the inside. Somebody's had a couple of barbel up the top, which was to be expected in those fast, shallow waters. Uh, I know Peg75 in my section, he's had a couple of chub. So, um, but you know, I've had a, a reasonable day's fishing. I uh, don't think I'm going to get any prizes today, but um, hey -ho, that's it, you know, can't win them all, as I said before. <laughs> but uh, it's nice to um, to get up on the Seven. Uh, it's a lovely venue. I mean, I, I picked up a couple of roach and some perch on the stick on the, uh, in the last half hour. Um, um, makes you wonder sometimes if you don't, you know, go for them a bit earlier. Uh, but I don't think they were there anywhere. I think they they come on a bit late. So, uh, a couple of pounds. You know, I'll do away and now and see what I've done anyway. Okay, well, uh, <clears throat> there's a couple of three pounds in my section, and this one now, this is where they all start catching fish. To Tony Morton. Mm. They're gonna name this uh, peg after him, isn't that, aren't they? <laughs> Twelve pounds for me. Twelve ten. Well, peg is, oh, but GM2, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, uh, you can see it's shallow and boily. Oh, you didn't weed out then, Mark? No. Could be the winner, yeah, Mark. He's had, uh, I think it's three or four babble and a chub. <laughs> You'll catch two or three, four pounds of rope standing in the 80s at the start of the year. Not seen a couple of ropes. Only had one little day. One silver fish. Happy with that, Mark? What's that? <laughs> you can see that, didn't you? You're about the only scales whoever asks people. <laughs> 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 Do you reckon this is a winner today? Top three. Top three. Can you manage? Come on, Mark, you're all right. Oh, careful they don't fall out. <laughs> You can get out, man. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Not that wrestling for 20 minutes with a fucking seven pound, eh? Yeah. <laughs> you have a chunk there, Mark? You want to put it in? Yeah, yeah. First run down on the meat, I had that chunk. Very yeah, first run down. Did you, did you get another bite on it? Nope. Yeah. Mad, innit? Five marks yeah, about what I thought. Yeah. I don't, I don't. 